Have you ever found yourself sitting with a joystick controller for robotic cameras and having to go through each camera and then set the, let's say, the iris or the shutter speed for each camera one at a time and just wishing that you would have a controller that could do this at once? In fact, you can have that with a Skyhoy robotic camera controller like this one. Or basically any of the ones we, we make, they work the same way, they have the same features thanks to the Unisketch operating system and the device core that uh, we have developed for Visca cameras. And uh, I'll show that in this video. So um, if we look at the setup, we have uh, three BRC H900 cameras over here. They are connected to the joystick controller the uh, right here over IP. And then we have them hooked up with a multi-viewer so you can follow on the on-screen menus uh, the values that we are going to change. So if we take a look at the camera controller right here, I, a quick introduction would be that we have a camera selector on this row. So we can go up to camera seven. We have a shift key over here. We have some buttons for like shift buttons. We have a preset buttons here, joystick. Um, this is the focus button. And we won't touch much of that today except the camera selector. So uh, I can change between camera one, two, and three, as you can see. And here we have a menu. So uh, currently we have selected the first uh, part in the menu, which is the exposure mode. And we see uh, it's in manual mode. We have iris shutter speed and gain shown in these uh, tiles. If I press the button, then uh, you'll see secondary options for exposure mode. And as I press it repeatedly, you can see I go through these. Actually, if I change to uh, one of the other modes, uh, like iris, You'll see as I, as I go here, I have uh, sensible options like I can change the uh, A speed, exposure compensation, automatic gain control and the limits and all these things very neatly organized in this menu. And if I press these buttons, you can see kind of the same thing going on. For instance, uh, let's take the matrix. So matrix is off. All right. If I press this one, you can see the various parameters that belongs to matrix. So uh, let's go back to the exposure mode menu. So in this one, I have now changed the mode for um, camera two to iris. If I go to camera one, we are at shutter speed. If I go to camera three, I'm in manual mode. So you see three different settings. Now, if I press and hold this button for camera two, whoa, you'll see that some of these settings are not the same. M um, this means mul multiple values. Uh, that's what the displays say. And now what I could do is to change the value of the manual, oh sorry, the exposure mode to manual for both camera two and three by uh, changing to this and then I press and hold to confirm. Now uh, I have set this value up in a special confirm mode. In other cases, as I turn the knob, it's just changing the value. But in, in this particular case, it's a configuration. I've set it up in, in confirm mode, so I have to hold it. Now, uh, what would be interesting would be to select just camera two and then see it's in manual mode. If I change to camera three, it's also in manual mode, but camera one is still in shutter speed mode because if I wanted to change that two, I would have to hold all of them down. So I'll now do that and I can go to manual mode, press and confirm. And there you go, all cameras are in manual mode. And uh, if you follow closely, you can see this in the multi-viewer with the on-screen menu, you can see uh, this setting change there as well. Now we also see that the iris value is not the same all over the place, but it seems like shutter speed is. So if I change the shutter speed to 100, you see that it's changing for all three cameras at the same time. And this is shown again, you can see it in the on-screen menu that I'm changing shutter speed simultaneously on all these cameras. Even if I press and hold shutter speed, it will reset to uh, 150. Now I could do that same for iris. So if I press and hold it, will reset to the largest possible aperture. But of course I can adjust that simultaneously for all cameras at the same time. Like that. And I can also adjust the gain if I want to in the same way and press and hold to reset. All right, so now if you see that those values were changing, for instance, as I move here, you see sometimes it says multi. It's simply because um, it's fetching values from the cameras and if they get out of sync for a split second, then it will show that we have like multiple values hidden out there. But in fact, this is it. And also this knob is currently set up to rotate over a number of values, which is why it's kind of going over and over again. 
So that was part of the test configuration I made. But the point should be proven that we really have a powerful tool here where all these things are selected at once and I can reset values like that. So now the matrix has been offset. If I press here, you see those, yeah, that's not relevant values, but I can turn detail off all cameras at the same time and so on. So really powerful configuration of uh, multiple robotic cameras by selecting all of them at the same time and then you can send settings to all of these cameras in one go uh, and, and you can also by selecting the cameras you can have it confirmed on the display that this, the same value is in fact embedded on all of them at the same time. And if you didn't notice it's so awesome that our controllers will actually know your camera, it will know the value ranges, it will show you what shutter speed it has and not just some integer value that it's shutter speed 6 or similar. It will actually know the shutter speed, the gain settings, the iris settings, it will know if it has or if it doesn't have um, detail options and so forth. And that's the power of the Skaho Universal Controllers, the device cores that we develop for broadcast hardware and how you get extremely flexible controllers when you buy the controllers we make.